All right, guys. At this point, I'm uh, getting ready to paint the track. However, I before I do that, I am going to be super elevating the track. And this tip I got from Monster Railroad. As you can see, I've cut some uh, pieces of styrene. Cut some pieces of uh, point zero four zero styrene, which I am placing it on the outside underneath the tie. Every third tie, I will be placing a, a small piece of uh, styrene underneath the tie on the outside rail. And after that's completed, I'll be ready for uh, painting the track. Uh, I have super elevated the track following uh, Monster Railroad's advice on uh, using styrene uh, little chips that you cut and put them on the outside of the turns. I did like every other tie, I placed a uh, small piece underneath the tie and then uh, CA it down so uh, it wouldn't move. <clears throat> As for the color, I'm using a combination of two colors roof brown and freight, light freight car red from uh, Poly S that I uh, mixed and I'm spraying it in my airbrush. I think, uh, I mean I like it, it's the appropriate rail color. I will shoot one coat of this on the track and then uh, afterwards from uh, a top down angle I'll shoot grimy black to get a little bit on the ties but not so much on the side of the rail. The side of the rail should stay this uh, brownish reddish color. Okay as you can see uh, the track has been painted the brownish mixture color and I have used a uh, razor blade and basically scraped off the top of the uh, rails uh, to get it clean somewhat after the paint has dried a little bit. Now I'll go over it with a bright boy and get the top of the rails shiny again. I did mask off the points, the point contacts and the frogs. I used a uh, plastic cup just to protect my uh, little dwarf signal here. There is a good shot of the dwarf signal on its face, the little tube, and that just plugs right into the hole. I used a uh, cup to protect it while I was spray painting. And still have some of this stuff to get off with the razor blade. Like that. But there's a difference track painted and unpainted. You can tell it's going to look real nice. Alright, this is Grimy Black Poly S. Once the track has been painted uh, the brown color. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll go over it from a high angle straight down, not sideways, but straight down on the track and give it a uh, light mist of the, of the black. And what that will do is you'll get a blackish brown color to the ties. However, if done right, the rail, rail side should still stay uh, rusty brown or a, uh, a darker uh, brown, brown reddish color. And here's the difference. Painted and unpainted.
looks pretty good compared to uh, the stock track. Notice how the soldering points totally disappear once the uh, track is painted. You can't see uh, you can't see them anymore. And you can probably see the uh, super elevated track here. It's the uh, just the right angle for the uh, super elevated track. And here's a close up of the painted track. Real nice. Once the uh, ballast is in, I'll uh, put the uh, glue down and then these nails will be coming off.